the channel this is beyond authentic health and beauty where we are documenting our slimming world journey and beyond i'm lisa I'm Lucas. and this is ruby and today mm. we are going to give you yes thank you today mm. we are going to give you our 10 top tips for slimming world newbies mm. my number 10 would be to check your sins so like if you're having uh, drinks fizzy drinks and things like that although they say they're diet pop and zero pop they've all got calories on in them so I always go for cans that are one and two calories a can what was it the other day was it the Vinto or something that Vinto was, was it like, was a zero was it a, but it was 15, 15 calories if you thought oh it won't hurt I'll have two or three cans during the day and like say not realize quite you know what the value is on the back of it i would always look at them and think i would rather eat my sins than drink them so but also if that's how many's in a can how many's going to yeah. be in a two liter bottle so if a you lot. picked up a two liter bottle and you were drinking it thinking it's zero yeah then you're you're having all of those sins yeah. that you don't know you're having that's it. and even though when you go to group like say summer world group they will say Oh, you know, it, you can have any of those ones, but just be mindful. Like I said, just check on the back, and I always just try to go for the cans of, of pop that are a lot lower in calorie, and just keep my mind to a very minimum. Our ninth top tip for Slimming World newbies would be to recheck your sins from time to time. Not only do recipes change, but also if you're picking up something from a different supermarket, for instance, the sin value can change. Even things like the chicken roll that we've had before. Yeah. Well, didn't we? Out, out of two packets, we I think we actually picked up at one time, thinking it was just sliced chicken pieces, and actually it worked out that one of them, one pack, was on plan, it was free food, and the other one was one sin a slice. So yeah, be really careful. And one of the things for newbies, these days you've got access to the app and there's a little function in there where you can do a food search and you can actually check the barcode. Now, what we've discovered is not every single item has their barcode on, but the majority do. So do just give it a quick scan, pull your phone out, the number of times that we've been in supermarkets been and you just life, go, oh hang on, that, click it? that. Yeah. yeah, it really has. Especially things like for me with gluten-free bread. I've discovered that there are certain brands that are part of my healthy extra B, other ones aren't. And actually, again, it's that little extra sin here or sin yeah. there. And if you're not aware of it, they really do add up. My next tip would be making sure you drink enough water. So for me, I might maybe have a couple of cans of pop, but I don't mean just like having a coffee, a tea, because a lot of those drinks will dehydrate you if you have a lot of coffee and things like that. So they always say try and whether it's with a bit of you know no added sugar squash in it to um, just have water. So whether it be like like Lisa's got diluted squash, to have make sure you just drink enough water because if you don't, it doesn't you know it's a bit like if you don't drink enough, my body doesn't kind of work and do what it should do as easily. What he's trying much. to say is you need the water to help with the fibre. It does to to clear you out and to keep cleanse, your system regular. Cleanse your body. Yeah. Yes. That. Our number seven top tip for Slim World newbies would be to always put your speed food on the plate first. So literally plate it up first and then to eat it first as well because what you may find is that once you've had your speed food say if you've got a big plate of vegetables and you've got some potato and you've got your meat you eat your speed vegetables first and a little bit of your potato a little bit of your meat you may well find that you're actually full and then you can leave the items like the potatoes that are going to do the least benefit or they're going to give you the least benefit yeah. in your plan so when you're food optimizing not all food is the same so if you put your your speed food on first and make sure at least a third of your plate is speed food that's what slimming world always say and that's on top of if you're doing a bolognese or something yeah. and you're putting carrots into it don't class that as your speed food no. try and add it on on top of that to really pack your plate with that speed food my, my top tip number six would be to make sure you plan ahead so planning your what you're having uh, food wise what your meals are going to be for the next few days so you're you've got the next three days worth of things in your fridge 
that you're going to be having for your meals. And also another another one to add to that bit is to if you go shopping and you're planning all your meals, don't go shopping hungry. So don't go on an empty stomach because I'm, the amount of times I've been to the supermarket and we've done shopping and I was hungry and I've picked up the amount of things that I don't need that. Yeah, definitely don't don't go to the supermarket hungry. Uh, just putting extra temptation in your way. But also I would say added to that, to even not just meal plan, but shop plan. Mm -hmm. So you do your shopping list as standard, but then in your head, try and work out which are your trigger aisles. So it may well be the donut aisle or the chocolate aisle. Mm -hmm. And if you don't need to go up that aisle, yeah. Then don't go up that aisle and actually try and work out your list and try and work out your route to avoid those areas if you can especially when you're first starting off because it's very easy to slip into those old habits and just go oh i'll just get this in just in case i fancy it and before you know it you've scoffed a lot so yeah so not just to meal plan but also to plan your shopping as well and like your route and which shops yeah. you're going to and like i say if you don't have all of your sort of uh, store cupboard staples and stuff there is a list of them in your slimming world book as well if you've got that um, and it will tell you like say all the all the sort of things that are totally on plan that are all free that you can add to all of your food to make it really tasty as well so that's really good and that brings us really neatly into our top five so our number five tip for slimming world newbies to clean your cupboards out now i don't mean get the ajax out and a nice cloth and wipe everything down although not going to hurt what i mean is to actually go through your cupboards look at the foods that you've got in that aren't slimming world friendly so it could be that you've still got some custard left over and it's not for it's not low fat custard it's the full fat custard or you might have some brandy butter left over from christmas or whatever it is or a tin of corned beef anything that you've got in the cupboard that hasn't been opened you can always donate to a food bank anything that has been opened you can always offer that to friends family or neighbours and just say I'm starting this new diet I've got this I've only had a little bit of this custard powder out the top of it can you use it with your kids get it out of your cupboards get it out of your kitchen that way that temptation isn't going to be there because whilst it's there and you're looking at it you've always got that option to go oh a little bit won't hurt and before you know it it's extra sin so yeah my, my tip would be clean those cupboards out okay so my number four tip would be to weigh and measure so it'll be making sure you've got some really good digital scales and making sure you've got these like little measures these little cups um, and like I say we use these all the time if we're measuring things out and making sure I say you weigh down to the gram I said because even like a gram extra of something I said would take you over whatever sins and then you know you don't know how many sins you've had for that day then if it's if it's something you have to sin especially with things like your anything that's loose so a loose powder like the hot chocolate that i yeah. use like a tablespoon you think oh well it's going to be about a tablespoon mm -hmm. but then your tablespoon is all of a sudden really heat so our consultant yeah. brenda she talks about mayonnaise yeah. and she talks about if you get a tablespoon of mayonnaise you have to level, like, it, off. level it off back into the jar not into your mouth she says that basically if you've got your spoon you'll have one one sin's worth in your spoon another two sins on top and another sin hanging off the bottom so it's really important to level that off i said even these i said make sure i said if you have these they're not kind of heap spoons you don't like scoop a, a load in there i said and then it's piled over the top i said you just got to make sure that they are completely level i said when you have them and these these proper digital scales are absolutely they are invaluable if you are starting off on plan and they're not expensive i think these ones were from asda weren't they georgia yeah. asda they're about 10 or 15 pounds and it is a major major investment into your long-term slim world journey i said you you do get the other scales i said that are not digital i said but these are a lot more accurate and it's a lot easier to try and work out especially if you've got something where you're adding ingredients in yeah. you just pack it on hit the tear button and then it's, it resets everything to zero and then you can just add in ingredients yeah. into a mixing bowl and then you get your exact amounts so it's a bit of a faff at first but it is invaluable to make sure that you are yeah. sticking to plan so our number three top tip for Stimming World Newbies would be that your 15 sins a day, your allowance of sins, is a maximum, it isn't a goal. So if you've eaten through the day, for instance, and you've had a hot chocolate in the afternoon because you really fancied one, and then you've had a Muller Light, and say you're up to three sins because you've had your hot chocolate for two sins, you've had your Muller Light, and you've eaten your dinner and everything else, you've not used any sins, 
it's very easy on Slimming World to think, oh, I've got 12 sins left. I'm going to have two Freddos at five sins each and a couple of flumps or a flump. And you're going to go right up to your 15 sins, okay. even though you're not fancying it, even though you're not hungry, you're just eating it for the sake of it. So if I would, like I say, at one time we would put them in like a, sort out what's, what sweets or little goodies we were having for the day. Um, and we would put them in a little bag and they'd be left till the end of the day and then we'd sort of have them in the evening time. But I would find that I would end up just eating them all for the sake just, of it. just because. Don't feel that you've got to reach that point because you're quite right with us. We yeah. used to have these little snack, snack bags, didn't we? Little yeah. treat bags. Portion them out and everything. And, and it would yeah. be, oh, how many have I I've had? I've had four sins today, so I'll take that, that item out of the snack yeah, and then I'll, I'll eat the rest. the rest of them. Even though we've had dinner, we've had a pudding, we've had whatever else we've had during the day and we're not actually hungry. So it would become a habit of eating up to our allowance rather than having that as a maximum yeah. kind of a safety net of 15 cents. My number two top tip would be to make sure you stay to group. So it'd be if you're going to Slimming World getting weighed, stay to image therapy because like I say you don't just have someone telling you, you know, or oh, you've been naughty this week and you actually, you know, you might have maintained or gained a little bit for any reason. That you know, everybody there, even the consultant, everyone's there to help you. So whether it be someone sharing a tip of something that they've had that week and you didn't even know it was on plan and that you could have it, you know, that you like sausages and you know, they don't just do full fat ones in the shop. Now you get skinny varieties and some of them that are only like half a sin each, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, you get like I say, amount of tips that we've had just from staying to group. Sometimes we've gone to group and we've helped other people. So mm -hmm. it's always really good to stay at group. There's also been times where somebody else has shared something yeah. and we've gone, oh, 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 oh we've done that wrong. Mm -hmm. Like the, yeah. like the, um, the hat, the chicken roll yeah. and other things like that. But it's also where you get little tips and tricks and little tweaks that just help you do yeah. something a little bit different. Like, you might be thinking, what am I going to do with this tin of chickpeas that like I got in the Slimming World mm. basket last week? I don't know what I'm going to do mm. with them. And actually, yeah, you can bung them in a, in a hummus, mm -hmm. but also you can use them to thicken up a soup or thicken up a gravy, gravy yeah. or anything like that. But also I would say not just on that, mm. but be active on the Facebook groups and all of that as well, because yeah. you're really active on that. I, I, I hate Facebook, but you're I've, really active. I've found, like I say, loads of things, even some tinned items like stewed beef, or you know some other other tinned things, or is it uh, chicken in white wine sauce in a tin? I never ever would have thought that, that would have been like sin free or whatever from from having. And like I say, I'm quite surprised at some of the things that are now sin free. But if I hadn't have been on the group, I said and looking up at some of the things people were posting on there, I would never have known. You get lots of help online, lots of things. And our number one, our best tip for anybody starting off on Slimming World is, we'll tell you after this. So if you do like this video, give us a big thumbs up. If you've got any really good tips and stuff that we have missed out, put them in the comments below. Absolutely, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and then ding your bell and change your notifications to all. That way YouTube should notify you each and every time we upload a video. I know, right, cheeky little plug, but we had to get it in there. Let's get on with our number one best tip for Slimming World newbies. And in the number one position, our best top tip for Slimming World newbies is just to keep going. Not only keep going to group, as Rufus just said, but also just keep going on plan. So if you have a bad day or say you have a week like I do on a regular basis where I'm on plan throughout the entire week and I haven't had the result that I wanted, it can be very disheartening and it could be very easy just to say, do you know what, sod it, I'm gonna have a sausage roll or I'm gonna have whatever. But if you just keep going, honestly, it pays off in the end. There is a poster at Slimmer World, isn't there, where it's like a map and it says some people have a direct route and some people is all around the houses. So we've both been on Slimming World this time around for six months. In that time, you've lost just shy of six stone and I've lost just over two stone and we've eaten the same food and we're doing exactly the same things. And it just shows that your journey is going to be different to the next person's, but you've just got to keep going. So even if you have a blowout one weekend or yeah. you have a day and you have a takeaway and you have a burger or whatever, if you have a binge, Whatever happens, just remember 
that is one meal or that is one Three. day out of, that, year. out of a whole year exactly and it isn't at the end of the day that one thing as long as you get back on plan as soon as you can it's not going to do too much damage yeah. it might mean that instead of you know losing a pound that week you have a maintain or you have a slight gain but overall in the course of that month or the course of that six months it's not going to affect your journey too much you've just got to keep plugging away at it and honestly again as jane day often says this, this plan will work if you work it it won't if you don't and you've just got to stick at it honestly 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 but there you go those are our top 10 tips for slimming world newbies or for anybody wanting to to start their weight loss journey if you want to know more about our journey do please have a look in our back catalog there should be some playlists coming up on the end screen just now and as rufus said if there's anything that we've missed out if there's any top tips or tricks that you've got do please share them down in the comments section because it does help the community and also we might pick up on something as well I know, right? But that is it from us. Hopefully you'll join us in another video as we continue our Slimming World journey. As we always say, stay you, stay safe, stay authentic, and happy swimming. Bye-bye.